What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Firings Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to check out something I've been wanting to check out for a while and that's the Mantis Laser Academy. Um, it's a great at home training tool, especially now with the ammo prices so high and Ohio, we just got hit with a huge snowstorm. So my outdoor range isn't so fun right now. So let's check it out. We're not usually into unboxing, but we did keep the box because there's a lot of pieces that come with it. And I'll tell you at first, when I first opened it, I was like, here you go, Neil, this looks intimidating. And I, I was like, you figure out how to use this. But honestly, just give it a second because it's very intuitive and really easy to use once you start looking at how it works. So let's look at the box. So the first thing you're gonna notice is everything's really high quality. And I think what surprised, like I said, there was a lot of stuff in there, but also in a good way, it was surprising because you get a lot. I thought we were just gonna get like a little insert and just some, you know, card to sign up for an app, but it comes with a lot of stuff. So let's look at it a little closer. So first thing you're gonna notice is this case. It's really nice quality. And inside of it, you have your insert. So you're gonna be training with your actual pistol, which I think is very important because it's, you know, what you would use in self-defense. So you should be training with your, your tool you're using. So this will go inside your pistol. Um, there's a wooden dowel rod looking thing. Um, this is to get that insert out and I'll show you how to use that a little later on in the video. Number one thing you're gonna wanna do is get this little quick start uh, card out and it tells you to download the app because you need to download that app on your phone and it'll kind of walk you through what you need to do. And like I said, once you get into it, I promise you it's very simple. So you need to get that out. Um, there's also another card with this new thing we want to check out next, which is the Blackbeard and it's for a uh, rifle. So we hopefully will check that out soon. Inside of here, you're going to get some um, clay and that's so you can put the targets on your wall if you want without hurting the wall itself. It comes with two stands to hold your phone because what's really cool is you're using that app as your as your training. So instead of some of the cheaper and other brands, they'll have a laser insert that you put into your pistol and you have to watch the laser to see if you hit or miss. But this actually tells you as you're shooting, it'll give you a score. It even keeps track of it. You can see it later. So that's really cool. So it has two different stands to hold your phone. One is like this and you can put it on the tabletop. You can you know, I don't know, hang it off something if you wanted to. It comes with a larger one, which is really nice, and even a little bag to hold it in. And then it comes with all these targets. It comes with the larger ones, and there are so many of these, and the smaller ones. And with that, you can either use this um, clay to attach it to the wall um, without hurting it, obviously, and damaging it, or you can use these little stands that you can build and stick it on a table or stick it wherever you like so you can set up your own training system. So lots and lots of stuff for this package. Before we get into the hardware, let's talk about the software because the first thing you wanna do is download that app so you can know what's going on. So uh, you're gonna download, it's called Laser Academy. You can click on it, let's open it up so you can see what they have in here. In our first tab, training, under the drills, we have all these drills. Um, the ones that do say pro, they have like a membership. What I like is it's just a one-time fee. I hate when people charge you every month. Just let me pay for it all at once. So you have all these different things you can, um, all these different training drills you can check out. There's also a, a course, um, they have a pistol marksmanship. Um, and then after you take that, you can actually take a test. So there's that. After training, we have the history drills. When we click on that, we can see all the different drills we've practiced with. The last tab is settings, so you can customize it however you like. The app is super interactive. I think that's one of the best parts about it. So it's been a while since I've been so excited about a product like this. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly considering getting a whole boatload of these and doing some indoor uh, simulated type stuff when it's uh, cold outside for, for new shooters. Really, really cool. But here, here is the stand, the big one anyway, pretty simple to use, uh, like any other tripod you probably had ever. The uh, phone holder that comes with it, which I figured was never gonna work because I have the, it's very common, but the Galaxy Ultra, but I have the Defender case on here because I'm pretty rough on stuff. And generally, phone holders will never fit this, but fits this one, no problem, so good job. This guy will extend all the way out. It's a simple twist and lock set setup, nothing too, crazy you can start your youtube career here with this i guess um it's got different adjustments on how you want to put it on here but essentially all we need to do is have this this uh, holder hold the phone so pretty straightforward i know it's upside down i'm just showing you how it works doesn't matter and there we go and so basically i'm going to show you here how this generally gets set up but this is one way to hold the phone uh, this nice stand and again this comes with it Kim also discussed this guy, the little flexi leg deal, so you can wrap this around stuff. 
Uh, again, to hold your hold your stuff wherever you want if it's an awkward deal. Um, there's two different sizes of targets, okay? There's also some really cool holders for the targets as well. So there's two, two systems. So here we got the little metal stands that Kim was showing you earlier. They're super, super tight. Anyway, you stick these in here and then you can put them on the tabletops and whatever. Pretty cool with that. Not a big deal. Then we also have, by the way, the two sizes of targets. So you can see these are identical, right? The uh, IPC, IPSC targets. So this also has the blue tack that Kim keeps calling clay, which is funny. And we just stick that on the wall. And there's one of your ways to put your targets up as well. All right, for the test here, we're going to use Kim's uh, M&P. This is the insert itself. There's two ends on it. One has like a black like rubber part that sticks up here. This is what faces towards you, towards the grip, where the striker is actually going to hit. And that uh, round hole right there, that's where the, the uh, laser comes out of. So the, the double O-rings goes towards the barrel. That helps, okay? It's a kind of a little awkward at first getting in. It's, again, a tight fit, okay? You got to really kind of ram it home a couple times. So I just let the slide do its job. And once it seats, then we're good. We should be able to see it on the wall. There you go. Obviously, as you already saw, make sure you double check. There's no magazines in there. There's no rounds in there, obviously, and so forth. Uh, then we're good to go. Of course, depending on what type of gun you're using, if it is a famous striker fire gun, trigger's dead. No more red dot. So we're going to have to, to uh, reset the trigger each time. We'll talk about that in a minute. If you have a hammer fire gun, a double action, whatever, then you're, you're good with that. And you can use it in double action all you want. But essentially, that's it. That's the install for the gun. I don't think it's a big deal, but when you're trying to figure out how this collapses or extends and then locks into place, it actually tells you at the very top which way to turn it to loosen it or tighten it. So if you need that, there it is. All right, you may not be able to see all this exact, but it's real, real basic here. I'm going to open up the app. You can see I just hung the picture on the wall. In this case, I'm just going to start at the tutorial basics. That's where you guys should all start just to make sure you kind of understand how this whole thing works. Um, as far as I know, you can pick any target you want. You're going to hit, you can hear the kind of cool sound there. It's going to give you some directions on uh, how to get set up here. So basically, uh, I don't know the secret technology, but I'm assuming that these squares kind of help it figure out where it is. And there's a blue box. There's also a slider here that will help you adjust. As you can see, I'm way off here, but they want you to zoom in as best you can to give you the best accuracy. All right, so again, there we go. We got the blue box around there. It looks pretty good. We're going to hit start here, and I'll, I'll show you how it works. Let me just say this because I have to because I'm a trainer, and that's really where it matters to me. Uh, anytime I teach people to do dry fire when they have to reset the trigger, I, I don't teach them to rack it like I, they normally would. I always tell them to do a press check setup. I, I do that because it's a different motion than racking the gun because I've seen a lot of people who have done, taken my advice, students of mine, did a lot of dry fire. They come to range live fire, they fire a live round, and they actually rack the gun again because they've done so much dry fire. So I like the independent, different movement of a press check. Uh, kind of gets the brain away from con constantly thinking to rack it like you normally would. Just my two cents. Okay, now, here's how it works. We hit the start button. You get a little countdown here. I know we're very close. It's just for demonstration. It's going to say ready. There we go. Oh, look at that. Looks like I'm pretty good. You can hear like the, the, the uh, shell hitting the ground, casing hitting the ground. We can do this a couple times. Right. Gives you a score. It told me that my scores were all 10. It gave me time. Uh, gives me the history of it. Super cool. I can see where everything is. Again, don't do it at this distance, but this is just for demonstration purpose. So you see how simple this is. Um, and then we can go back through here. And you can go through all the different programs. I mean, there's are, are different, uh, I shouldn't say programs, but different drills, uh, bullseye. Some of them require certain targets, just to be clear. Like, I wouldn't care to bet the 10-shot needs a 10-shot target, which most of it comes with it. This Die Hard is, I don't even want to ruin it for you. Just watch it. It's a really funny video that the, that the, the guy, people at Mantis put together. There's the Hunt, um, pretty cool holster draw. You can actually set up different draw times, or part times, rather. With this guy, uh, we'll see if it works with this. Perfect. So then we hit start. Again, I would be in a holster, of course. Ready. It's going to tell you ready. Then you would draw your gun out. You shoot it, right? Ready. Back in the holster. Ten. Okay. Ready. 
I'm obviously super fast because I'm not really using a holster. But it can give you your time up here. Very cool. You can hit stop. And it gives you your times as well on here. Uh, really cool. There's a whole... I mean, I haven't even gotten to half of all the cool stuff that this thing can do. You can always go back by hitting that... Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Like the little chart down there. You can change distances for the distances. Um, you can clear out where you were and start all over again. You can go in your settings here. You can change uh, your, your your drill times, reset times rather. There is just a ton of really cool stuff. There's dual stuff, so you'll see on the right here where you see two people. Obviously, that's multiple people, more than one. Multiple targets. There is just a ton of cool stuff. I did start this uh, marksmanship setup here. This is kind of all the targets you can use for this. And it tells you what, what you're going to do. All right, you hit start. Ready. Ten. Ten. Nine. Oh, here, let's keep going. Ten. Ten. Eight. All right, so it shows me all that. That was just one of them. I'll try to give you kind of a, a POV point of view here. So we got the target set up. This is just a manual target. So I'm going to hit the start button. The other cool part about this is there's a little control, a little circle in the top right, which I just missed because I'm trying to do this behind cue. And as you heard that click, and you can see it on the screen here, that will now take you back to your results. So if we look at the target here, you're shooting your target and then that control will take you back to, back to here automatically. I, I only have two, nah, I only have one quasi negative thing that I, if, if uh, Mantis is listening personally, it's just my thing. Uh, when it comes to putting inserts in any type of gun, even snap caps, I'm very much against brass or silver. This is brass only because real casings are brass. So if I were to make one suggestion to Mantis, make that a different color other than silver or brass. I don't care if it's pink. It's just something that is obvious. I don't think you'll ever be able to see it on camera. I don't know where to hold it, okay? But it's brass, and so I wish it wasn't. That's my, again, just me being uber safe, I guess. As an instructor, I've seen a lot of, a lot of people do silly things. Okay, so that's the only thing I could say negative. This guy, please don't lose this. You're going to need this. This is your doll rod because, again, there's no, uh, the extractor can't grab on it. There's no, there's no case that it can get a hold of. So how are you going to get it out, right? Well, that's what this tool is for. So you're going to go in through the uh, muzzle, and you're going to push on that. I'm just going to put my hand underneath here just so it kind of falls out in my hand on the camera. And then, then you have your insert, okay? So don't lose this doll rod. And again, remember, you're gonna, there's some there's some O-rings on here, so there's a little bit of force to get that uh, guy in there. I found the best thing is just to rack it a few times until it seats, but this is your removal tool, okay? So Neil and I had a lot of fun playing with it over the last few weeks, and we're going to keep playing with it, and uh, maybe we can do an update later if we find out anything new or after we complete that course. You realize how funny that's going to sound to people, right? Hmm. How we keep playing with it? <laughs> Um, if you guys are interested in the product, we'll put a link below. You can go check it out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. We always love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. You can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. We're actually going to make a follow-up video with some more dry fire um, uh, products for Patreon only right after this. So make sure you head there too. And until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. Thank you.